welcome to Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting. Today I'm going to be doing a fun, easy project that I know everyone will love, especially those music lovers. I'm going to be doing a um, music sheet that I burnt the edges of and painted on, did some um, crackle paint on, a nice little crafty art project, okay, with just a little bit of painting. And if you feel that this, even this painting is too much for you, maybe right now, if you're a true, true beginner, you can just go to decoart.com, buy some stencils. You could even do some stencils on there. This will make a beautiful gift for any, any music lover. And um, if you cannot find the sheets, that are already aged. You know, when you search on the internet, you can find vintage music sheets. All you have to do is um, use the decoupage antique on it, and this will give it a little bit of a tint, all right? So don't even worry about finding some vintage sheets. Just get any sheet music that you want, pick the songs that you like, and you can order them right online, okay? So decoupage antique. And before I start, also I just want to show you there's another decoupage, so you don't get confused. This one is for napkins. Um, so if you're going to be doing some decoupage with napkins, you can try this one. So let's get started. I'll be using a 11 by 14 um, Frederick's Red Label canvas, which I love. Very, very sturdy canvas. All right. So I will put that out of the way. I think I'll put that down here. Get that really out of the way. So I'm going to be using some... Um, Americana accessory stencil brushes for this, okay? If you see by my example, I went around the outside and just pounced in some uh, brown and some gold. And at first I put a little too much gold, I went back, pounced in more brown. So I'm gonna show you uh, that along the way. I took my music sheet and I took a candle lighter over the sink and I just burned the edges very carefully just started a little bit of fire and then blew it out. So do it over the sink just in case you could always start the water, okay? So that's what those, um, those candle uh, starters are really, really good for this. So you don't have to play with the matches and all. Now, uh, let's see what else I have to tell you before we start. I already um, put this on at home. It only takes about 15 minutes to dry. So all I did was I used the decoupage um, medium and I glued it on. I used it like glue, okay, because it is a sealer and glue, and then I went over it again. And that, that's all I did to start, all right? So now we're going to get to painting. I'm using the big number 12 accessory. This is a stencil brush, all right? And this I like to use for pouncing. So all I'm going to do is go into my uh, burnt umber. Forgot which brown that was. My burnt umber, and I'm going to load it up with a lot of paint and I'm just going to start pouncing, all right? And it's okay if I get on there. Now, at home, you may want to um, pounce around first before you put on your sheet, all right? I just want to do that to save time today. But all I have to do, if I start to see that I'm getting too much on my sheet and I'm covering up my nice burnt edges, I can just wipe a little bit off like this, all right? Very easily, just wipe it right down. So I'll be a little bit careful. And I want to leave some of this white showing. I like the idea of having just a little bit showing anyway. So you can see very simply, I'm just going to go around here and pounce in. There we go. So I'm going right up to that edge. Now, of course, you don't have to pick this color. I wanted an antique kind of old look. So that's why I picked this nice brown. I really like the brown. And then once I put the gold on top, then you'll really see how that changes. But I'm not trying to cover every single little bit of white, all right? And you don't have to unless you want to. Now, if you feel like it, you can also do the edges. This way you can just hang it just the way it is. You put a little nail up on the wall, can hang it right up. So then if you plan on using it that way, the canvas, then you paint the edges, okay? For this, I won't paint the edges. And you can see I put mine, my other one, in a frame there, okay? And that was my little practice. So I like to do practice ones because you can see what you do and do not like, all right? So I like that one, but I said, you know what? I really would like to see a brighter flower and have that little flower be more of a focal point. So I'm actually going to be using a little bit of a red color today, and we're gonna see how that looks, all right? So while I'm just uh, stamping here, you can see some places are darker and lighter, that's fine. And I'll try to go a little bit faster and get some more of this on. Now, you want to use the brush that 
size that is appropriate for your project all right so if i was doing this on a smaller canvas then i would use a smaller stamping brush all right and again this is for stencils so really wonderful bristles in this very strong so you don't have to worry you can see i'm pressing pretty hard and i keep moving around if i stay in the same spot then I'm going to really cover in the entire tooth of the canvas, okay, which I don't always want to do. All right, now I'm getting down to the end here. See, I just put a lot of paint on there, so I'll just kind of move that up. But I like the idea of having the dark and the light variation, okay? And i getting it along the edge there, and like I said, I could wipe that out. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, just try to neaten up this edge. There we go getting down to the bottom here and I really took out a lot of paint I took I, I do that I take more paint than I actually need this paint really does go a long way so be careful with how much paint you squeeze out this way you don't waste your paint all right there we go just about done with that brown now and I'll take a take a step back and that looks pretty good all right just want to stamp this bottom a little more even this out a bit here that I noticed. All right, so I'm just going to wipe out my brown just a little bit. No need to wash the brush. I'm just going to wipe it, all right, and even wipe my hands off a little. <laughs> See, that's all we have to do is wipe it. We don't have to wash it, all right? Just going to go and stamp. So again, I'm going to show you what I mean by stamp or pounce, just pouncing at the end of my puddle of paint. I'm not going to go in there because then I'll get too much. There we go. Okay, pouncing a little bit. And I'm going to come up here and there and get a little bit of gold. All right, uh, just a little bit of gold here and there. So, like I said, when I did my other one at home, I did a little bit too much gold. So this is showing me now that I can tell better, uh, you know, the amount of gold that I really want to put on there. And if I end up putting too much again, all I have to do is go back and stamp some brown on it, or I can even take the paper towel and just kind of squish it in there a little bit. Sorry, I have my ease of moving a little. I just want to tighten that up. It was pretty good before, and then it started to move around a little bit. All right, so that's a little bit better. So now you can probably see that gold a little. Nope, still not better. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so I think that's good for the gold. I like the way that looks. I'm just kind of squishing it in a little bit more. You can see I'm just tapping very lightly, tapping lighter than I did when I was first putting that brown on, all right? So this is it for the stencil brush. So with all brushes, again, you don't want the paint drying out in the bristles, so I'm just gonna put it in the water and I'll wash it out when I'm done. Now, let's move on to the little flower over here, all right? Now, what I wanna do with the flower is, like I said, I used a, um, like a pink color before. I really wanted to use um, a brighter color, okay? And also great for holidays, start getting out those darker greens and reds and the gold, and I seem to always gravitate towards the brighter colors, okay? So I do wanna show you how to do this flower. So I'm just going to double load the brush, and let me see, since I didn't do it before, I think that I will use yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit of the white with it. I'm gonna see what this color looks like. So here's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go back and forth like this. Now, I don't think I like the way that, that white looks with the red in, in correlation to how it's going to look on here. So I'm gonna actually dip that white in a little gold and dull that down a little bit with that gold, okay, since I'm adding that white. So now, I like that better. I have like a beigey color. So play around with your paints, mix them together, see what you get. I know I'm gonna need more paint than that, so I'm gonna make a little bit of a pile there. Gonna come back, oop, see that? Almost dunked the wrong side in, <laughs> that's okay. Could have just wiped it out. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna show you on my palette. When we do this little flower, okay? That was my medium, I have my medium dripping there a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna hold the brush up like this, flat, and I'm just gonna wiggle, 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 and turn, okay? So what I would do is if you're new to this type of painting, I would take some paper and just practice, okay? So again, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You can see I started running out of that, out of paint. So wiggle, 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 
There it is. That's how you get these pretty petals. I would get some um, wax paper, sit with your brush, and just do petals over and over. Because at first, it, I made it look a little easy. It's not that easy. But for a beginner, if you sit and practice, you will be able to do it in a little while. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that, uh, that blossom on there. Let me throw my paper towel out there so the paint doesn't spread around. So again, when you see me put my brush down, I'm just going to get more paint. So I'm dipping in the white and the red, I'm going back again, and in the gold. So just what you saw me do when I put my um, paper down, my palette, that's what I'm doing. So let's see how we do. Now, this is nice and smooth, okay, from the um, decoupage medium. So let's see how we do. And here's my first petal. All right, there's my first petal. And I like that color. So again, I'm going to come back, load the brush again. There we go. There's the gold. Back in the same little runway here. Get a little white in there. I want to make sure I have plenty of paint. And I'll come down and do another petal next to it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay. So I think that looks pretty. I'm going to come back again. There we go. And this is a little bit of a, a, an angle. So when you're practicing, don't try to do the whole flower, okay? Just do your petals going across. Now, if you're a new painter, what I suggest you do is when you find what's most comfortable for your hand, turn your canvas the way your hand is and then put your petal in. I hope that makes sense. So if you're getting used to doing this angle, turn your canvas and do that angle again. That'll help you um, like your flower better because it'll, it'll be better form, all right? So I'm going to paint a little bit sideways and upside down now, um, which I wouldn't suggest you doing at first, all right? And we'll see how I do this way. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. See, it's hard to do that way. Now, just going and getting more paint. Again, gold, red, white. So each petal, you want to get more paint, okay? So this is a little brush. It doesn't hold that much paint, but it, it's, you want your, your petals to be nice and bright. Here we go again. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right. And I'm going to do one more again, back and forth in the paint. And this will be my last petal. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, so there we have a nice flower there. Now, for the center, there's so many things you could do with that center. You can just take the um, back of your brush and dab it in a little bit of paint. If I, now, I was going to do green, and I'm thinking if I do green, it is going to look like a holiday one. And if I do gold, it'll probably look holiday too. So either way, this may end up a holiday gift. <laughs> so um, let's see, gold or green, and you know what? I can't figure which to do, so I'll do both. Here we go. So all I'm doing is dabbing some green right in the middle there. Okay, no need to get another brush out. You can just dab right there. Now, of course, you could get a small stencil brush, which I happen to have there too, and you could just dab in the middle. So it's a couple different ways just to get that paint on in the middle. Let me just put a little more, even though I wiped my brush. Let me get a little bit more green. So I'm, I'm not making it even. I'm kind of making it a little choppy there. Okay, so it almost looks like the flower's kind of turned. Now, I'll go dip in a little bit of the gold, and let's see if that gold will pick up on there. Yes, it does a little bit. That's it. Okay, so that is it for the middle of that flower. Now, of course, you could add a couple more flowers however you want. Um, for the sake of time, what I'll do is I'll put the leaves in and then see if we have more time, I'll show you another flower. Now, I don't have to wash this brush out. Uh, let me find my favorite towels. Here we go. I'm just going to wipe it out and get a lot of that paint out of there. All right. So you don't always have to wipe the brush. And I kind of like when some of the paint from another color goes into um, the next color. All right. Now, what I'd like to do is I want to show you these leaves, which I've shown on, on other shows. And um, each show, as you see it, you, it might um, start to get in your head more and say, oh, I get it now. All right. So I keep doing a lot of the same things over, especially for beginners. It's always good to hear it said and maybe in a different way. I may not always explain it the same way. All right. So I think that I'll use the same green that I used in 
the center, all right? So I'm just going to dip in the green, and I'm going to dip in the gold. Here we go. And we have a green gold color, and I'm going to leave that gold like that because I think that looks pretty. Now, I'm going to first make a little vine just for placement. I'm going to drag the green first, okay? So there we go, I'm just dragging it, all right? Now the green is coming out a little bit transparent there and that's all right, I could always go over and see. And you can see I'm just using the tip, the corner of the brush, a chisel edge. So what I mean by chisel edge is the brush is nice and flat, all right? So I'm making kind of an L. I'm going back to my paint, again, dipping in each color, all right, so see again, dipping and dipping back to the same runway, all right, there we go. Now, if I see it gets too dry, I'll dip my brush in a little bit of medium, okay, so I have, I have the extender and blending medium, and if, so if I see it's dry, I could easy, either use a little bit of water or a little medium. I suggest using the medium because there's already a little bit of a coating on here, all right, from the decoupage. Here we go. So I'm going to start doing some leaves, and here's what I'm doing. I'm laying the brush down flat. I'm pushing, 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 turning just slightly and lifting, okay? So I don't see that so much, so I'm going to get a little bit more green on there. Let's see. I do like the idea that it's not um, really, really dark, okay? Now, here's what I'm doing. I just did two here, and now I'm going to explain it. So. I'm going back again into the paint, making sure I have enough, all right? Um, let me try to do it this way. So just make sure my hand's not blocking. I'm pushing, 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 and then lifting. You can see how the brush springs up. And I'm using these um, the, this wonderful tradition brushes that are great for this kind of a method. There we go, I'm just pulling in the, uh, the vein in there. And back again into the paint, okay? So again, every time, I may not show you my palette every single time, but that's all I'm doing is going back into the paint. So I think I'm gonna put a couple here, all right? So I just want them to kind of flow in the same direction, you know, kind of out from the branch and just in, a, in a, nice, a nice direction to look at them. We don't want them backwards or upside down, all right? So that's a little hard to do, so just kind of keep aiming them, all right? So here we go again. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have a couple come out a little further here. And I pushed a little harder, so I made them a little bigger. All right, there we go. So here is the vein. And I'm going just on the chisel edge and pulling the edge of the brush into the corner. All right, there we go, like that. All right, so I'm going to stand back again. I think that looks pretty. It does look, it does look kind of holiday-ish, okay? So when you're making your gift, think about what colors you're using, because if, if it's not a holiday gift, then you may not want to use these colors, okay? I love the colors together. But I wanted to use a different color than my example. So right from, right from the start, you can see if you like to use like a pink or if you'd rather use um, kind of a, a red color. So let's see, let me go back again and get more paint. Oops, and I went in my runway in a different direction, all right? So you, let me show you what I did here, all right? Everybody does that, beginners and not. <laughs> I went in the wrong direction, okay? So all I'm going to do is wipe my brush out, that's it, and I'm going to start another runway to keep, try to keep my, my um, colors separate. There we go. Okay, so I'll just come over here. Easy enough. Now I really want to get more paint on there. There we go. And back again. So I'll start up here and get that leaf in there, see which way we're going. All right. I do like how, how we can see through that paint a little. I think it looks pretty. And there's another leaf. So you can see I'm just kind of aiming them and I'm taking my time. At home you could even go slower than this. All right. So. I'm pushing. Now, sometimes I think my hand might be covering, so let me come over here, and there'll be a couple. Keep watching, because I'm sure there'll be a couple. You'll certainly see the whole stroke. And pushing. I'm doing that backwards, all right? I, I picked up a little paint on there, because since I'm doing it kind of backwards and upside down, it's a little difficult to do, but I like the way that leaf looks anyway. All right, back into my runway, straighten out my brush. So before the paint dries, I just want to get my little my little uh, edges in there, 
I say edges, not really edges, my little veins. All right, and I can see I need more paint on my brush. Okay, so you can see how we're coming along with that. And I, I really do like that gold. So I know I said that on a lot of shows before, I do love the gold. All right, here we go, put another one in. Let's get a couple, let's come out here a little bit more. And here, and closer. So I'm going closer and further, just trying to get a nice little pattern here. Again, back and forth in my paint. Want to pick up more paint, and you can see I'm coming down on the branch, okay, to get in the vein. So I'm coming all the way down here. This way, it looks like we have a nice, a nice flow to the branches. All right. So that also is is easier said than done. So practice, practice. You will certainly like your paintings better if you just practice this stroke a little. Okay. So again, I'm pushing, 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 and lifting. All right. So it's not hard, but you just need a little practice. And here we go again. All right. And let me get a few more in here, I think. Where else? Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. Let's put one maybe over here and aim that up a little more. Okay. So you can fill that in as much as you like to. Um, now. I have on my original, I put some curly cues. Now, mostly curly cues we do with a, um, a round brush or a script liner. However, today I can't find my script liner. I'm going to show you how to improvise. I'm going back and loading my brush again. Okay. And all I'm going to do is come in on the edge and just kind of do a couple little a little twirl so I'm just twisting the brush around okay so it is a little bit difficult and you do have to make sure that you stay on the edge of that brush all right so let me come over here again all right that's it's it's like I said that's not so easy for beginners but by all means get your wax paper out and practice okay so I'm just putting a few of these little curlies here and there and I see I didn't get one in there or it doesn't show. I might have forgot to do that before and I just noticed it. So we'll kind of just put those in. There we go. <laughs> I was so busy talking I didn't put in the veins there. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's get another one. I'm just looking for some spots just to get some in. So yeah, I went right over there. Can get another one. So I think that this is a, a pretty project. I really like this. Okay. And let's see what we have here. Now I pushed a little harder and that got a little bigger, okay? So let me take a look back again and I think we'll put in a few more leaves. Just a few more and then we're gonna be calling this one done. All right, I just, I'll show you the bottle of Crackle too before we go. Um, let's see, put up one here. So I'm just filling in and filling in and maybe one here. And now I'm putting some off of the branch. There we go. And I have a tendency to overdo it, but I really like that. I like the gold and all. Okay. Very good. So now, after I was finished and it was dry, I put on a thin coat of the one step, step crackle. Now, the one step crackle gave my original there a very nice sheen, a little bit of a sparkle, and um, also, it, um, it, it crackled just a little, okay? Because I didn't have like a heavier paint. It did crackle a little and uh, it didn't crackle on the paper so much, okay? But I do see a little crackle, so it does look very, very pretty. Now, um, the products that I used, this, um, this green that I used, I used Americana Multi-Surface Satin. I want to show you that you don't necessarily have to use all the same acrylics. You can mix and match any of the acrylics. I use the Deco Art Americana Premium paints, and I also use that Deco Art Satin paint. All right. I had some medium that I took out, which is the extender and blending medium, but I didn't need it. All right. The reason I didn't need it is because the decoupage um, fluid that was on here already made it nice and slippery, so I really didn't need to add anything to the paint. Now, the products you can get at any store. I mean, I go out with coupons to. Michaels and to AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, even Home Depot, 
um, has some pain. So you can go all over and um, find the product any place, and especially on uh, decoart.com. Okay, so before I go, I'm just going to put in a few more leads because I have a, a couple more minutes. And again, I will show you in slow motion, okay, for those really wanting to, to learn these leaves, all right? So let me find another spot. So I'm going to come right up here. Whoops, I have a little glob of paint. So all I'm doing is evening it back out on my palette. And push, 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 and lift, all right? So my main reason to do the show is to help beginners and to help you get started and to learn to create different projects and it's trial and error, all right? So the main thing is get your paints out, start to try things, see what you like. Don't be afraid to mix colors together, all right? Because these, these paints really are wonderful for mixing. There's another leaf. And see how I can just keep filling in and filling in as much as I want. You want more gold? You add more gold. You want more green? You add more green. Okay? So let's see. I can put another one here. And there we go. So I think it looks really nice now. And I think I'm going to go over this one. It was too green. See how you could just go right over. Go right over again. There we go. Let me see if I missed any spots. Standing back. I don't know. It looks pretty good to me. Um, I turned a show that wasn't supposed to be a holiday show into a holiday show. Um, and that is because of the red and the green um, that I used. But like I said, go online or go to the um, music stores, find yourself some sheets. If you can't find any that already um, have a nice antique, antique color, go ahead and get the antiqued um, decoupage fluid and you'll get that nice color from that. Okay, so that's it for me today. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you'll take a look at uh, decoart.com and see their products. And um, feel free to write to me if you need any help. Thank you.